note on the side here, and it says note. When a, when we factor a polynomial that has a negative uh, has negative terms, we usually ensure that the first term inside the brackets is not negative. In order to do this, we can uh, remove something that has a factor of I should say removed remove the something that has a factor of negative one. So to summarize what that means, if this first term ever has a negative, I always want you guys to think that when you go to factor something out, you're going to take out a negative. All right? And recall that when you take out a negative, you'll be taking a negative out of all the terms, so everything will change. All right? So I'm going to look at each one of these terms as we go down the line, and you'll see how easy a tough question like this um, can actually be. This is actually fairly simple. We're going to look at the negative 12, the negative 20, and the negative 16. What is the number that goes into all of those? Well, I know that 4 goes into all those, so I'm going to factor out a negative 4. All right. Now I'm going to look at the x's. You have to take out whatever you can take the highest power out of all these. So this one has an x cubed, this one has an x, this one has an x squared, so the most I can take out is an x. Now look at the y's. This one has a y, a y squared, a y squared, the most I can take out is a y. Now basically think now, if you want to figure out what goes in the brackets right here, I always like to think, what do you multiply negative 4xy by in order to get negative 12x cubed y? Well, negative 4 times the 3 would give you the negative 12. x times x squared would give you that. And then y times just the 1, so you don't need to write anything, would give you that. So that part's done. Now we'll go on to the next part. Since we factor out a negative, this becomes a positive. 5, the x has already been taken out, so we just need the y. And then lastly over here, if you take out a negative 4, you'd have a positive 4. And we've taken an x and a y out of those, so we just have simply xy. All right. So that's a method of just uh, factoring it by, I essentially am using the, the GCF method, although I'm doing that GCF part in your head. Uh, some of you may need to write out that GCF part to get going. Uh, some of the honor students, you may find that uh, you want to just kind of motor on through this. I'll leave it kind of up to you guys. All right. So that concludes this lesson.